everything would begin in the Tournament of Power, just when Goku would be facing Jiren. To be more specific, we will place ourselves when Goku had launched the Genkidama to Jiren in the Tournament of Power. Upon impacting Jiren, this one, with an enormous power, returns the attack to Goku without any difficulty, to the surprise of all in the place. Damn! I think I've reached this point! Said a resigned Goku. I hope my universe can win without me. And as in the original story, the Genkidama exploded next to Goku, leaving only Stardust. Where am I? said a curious Goku. You're dead, Son Goku, said a mysterious entity. And since you have died in the realm of nothingness, a realm without space or time, your destiny is to disappear from existence. Because if you die in this place, you don't go to the other world, Son Goku. Too bad! <laughs> and I was planning to keep fighting with very strong guys. But anyway, what are we gonna do? <laughs> I trust that my universe will give it all they've got to overcome their limits to win the Tournament of Power. Son Goku, my name is Zarama, the Dragon God. And since your heroic acts throughout your life have impressed me, I have decided to give you a second chance. I cannot return you to your world, since the Twelve Universes were destroyed by Xenosama, and returning to your world would be against the rules. After your defeat, your universe did not win, but a being who asked me for a selfish wish, which meant the destruction of everyone. So, I will have to send you to another place. Goku, saddened by what he had just been told, tears flowed down his cheek, but with strength he said to the dragon, It's okay, Zarama. Thank you for this new opportunity, and I promise I won't waste it. He said a little more serious. Well, Goku, then get ready. I will send you to a new world where you can have new adventures and friends. And another thing, Goku, when you get to this new world, you will see your power is reduced by almost 100%. However, you will be able to recover as time goes by. A great light covered Goku and he disappeared. In another place, they were about to award the Medals of Honor to the Deadly Sins in the Kingdom of Lion until Meliodas shouted, Objection! Those medals should not be awarded! Why, Mr. Meliodas? Elizabeth said. It is what the public was dying to say. If you have something to say, you can say it to my face. I will listen to you without any problem. Before anyone spoke, a great light was seen in the sky, and from it, a strange being fell on the place. The sacred knights got into combat pose when they saw this strange being rise up, who would be Goku. Knights and company were about to attack, until they were stopped by Meliodas. Hello? Who are you? Meliodas said with a more serious tone. Goku was still a little sad, but he didn't let the grief get the better of him. He acted natural so as not to cause suspicion on him and said, Hello, my name is Son Goku, but you can call me Goku, said Goku cheerfully. I've never heard that name before. Can you tell me why you fell from the sky? Meliodas said. Goku didn't want to reveal his true identity yet, so he told them, I don't really remember, but I just know that I would like to have many adventures. <laughs> Meliodas, who felt a very particular power in Goku, decides to increase the spectacle of the ceremony. What do you think if we have a fight? Meliodas said. 
But Meliodas, don't be abusive, you'll destroy him. Said an annoyed Diana with her captain. Okay, I like to fight with strong guys and I can feel great energy from you. Hey Hawk, can you tell us the power of this guy? Let's see, his power is 500,000, this must be out of order. It can't be, said Diana. While Merlin looked very interested in Goku that had power that surpassed the Ten Commandments. It can't be. This guy is really powerful. But let's check which side he's on. So, Meliodas launching into the attack, and consequently Goku, both connected several blows and they were evenly matched since Goku likes to level his power with his opponents. After a few seconds, Goku gives a strong blow to Meliodas, in which the latter goes out shooting into a wall. <laughs> I think I overdid it. Goku changed his attitude to a more serious one, and it was because from the rubble, he felt an evil presence. It was Meliodas with his demonic mark. He had come out of the rubble and rushed towards Goku at great speed, generating astonishment in everyone present. This guy is not a bad person, but he's being controlled by an evil presence. Goku thought. After that, Goku appeared in front of Meliodas, hitting him in the stomach so hard it would leave him unconscious, and the whole audience was surprised. Captain! Shouted Diana. Everyone present was shocked by such a fight. Mr. Meliodas! Shouted a frightened Elizabeth. She ran to Meliodas to hug him and started to cry. Don't worry, he's fine. He's just unconscious. With these words, Goku calmed Elizabeth down. Merlin approached the place where Meliodas and Elizabeth were, and using her magic, she cured Meliodas, making him wake up. What happened? <laughs> I just remember being thrown into a wall. <laughs> they beat you, Captain. That's what happened, Meliodas. Merlin said, and after analyzing Goku, she said to him, Sir Goku, would you like to join the Deadly Sins? We are not only knights, we are also adventurers, and for sure you would like to go with us, to every adventure or circumstance that arises. Goku, without thinking about it, accepted the proposal, and after talking for a while, everyone agreed that Goku should be the capital sin. Even Meliodas accepted, because if they had someone with Goku's power, they could surely defeat the Ten Commandments and maybe even get rid of the curse that torments him. The knights discussed several things, and one of those was what sin Goku would be, since he needed to be part of the Deadly Sins. Goku thought for a moment and remembered when he failed to protect his universe and they were all destroyed. And that is why he's where he is. Guilt! I will be the sin of guilt! Said Goku and everyone looked at him, a little sorry because having a sin like that would mean that he suffered something very tragic in his life. Merlin changed her tone to a happier one and said, Good, Goku. Now you will be the eighth cardinal sin. The sin of guilt, son Goku. So after these events, and Goku, a low-class Saiyan, had become a cardinal sin, a few days had passed in the realm of lions. Goku was in the boar's hat where the sins were, who knew Goku more and more. Merlin found Goku very interesting. She wanted to know the origin of Goku's great power, while Diana started to like Goku a lot because of his pure and friendly attitude. They had all formed a great bond of friendship with our Saiyan. I told you that you would like being with us, Goku. Merlin said to a happy Goku. Yeah, Goku. <laughs> but you still have to try the house specialty. Goku, do you want to try the house specialty? Meliodas said. Sure, I'm starving. I haven't eaten anything. <laughs> I don't recommend eating Meliodas' food, Goku. Hawk said. How about if instead of the specialty I serve him roast pork? Meliodas said, scaring Hawk like that. <laughs> it was a joke, Meliodas. Everyone started laughing at the joke that Meliodas had played on Hawk while having a good time while Meliodas was preparing the food for Goku. Meliodas served the food to Goku, and everyone was expecting the worst since Meliodas's food tastes like garbage. Goku tasted it, and to everyone's surprise, he actually liked it. This food is delicious! 
It's been a long time since I ate something so good. Goku said happily. Everyone was shocked because Goku was one of the few who actually liked Captain Meliodas' food. Everyone was talking until Goku felt a strange presence with overwhelming evil power. In another place, ten very particular individuals had appeared. I see. So they've arrived. Said a serious Meliodas while clenching his fists. You felt it too? Goku said to Meliodas. What the hell are you talking about? I don't understand anything. Hawk said. They are the Ten Commandments. They are an elite force, even among the Demon Clan members. They were chosen by the Demon King himself, who gave each of them a unique commandment. I see. Then it's time for me to pay them a quick visit. Don't do it, Goku. Even with your power, these commandments are something to be afraid of. Don't worry, guys. I'll be right back. I promise. So Goku, with teleportation, appeared in front of the Ten Commandments. Everyone looked at him with a serious look until Galland walked up and said, A human? Who the hell are you and what are you doing here? My name is Goku and I have come to give you a warning, Ten Commandments. I don't want you to be causing trouble or else I'll have to eliminate you. Galland started laughing and said, <laughs> You? A miserable human is going to destroy us? How is that possible? Don't make me laugh! Who do you think you are to arrive and interrupt the Ten Commandments? Now I will murder you! Galland launched himself against Goku, but to his surprise, Goku appeared in front of him, giving him a fierce blow in the face in the blink of an eye. This attack would leave him deformed. The other commandments looked surprised that a human could face Galland, the commandment of truth. I see that you are a powerful human. Although you were only able to defeat Galland, only because we have not yet recovered all of our power. But we're not interested in you. We're looking for someone else, and we will do whatever we want until we find him. After saying that, Goku appeared in front of him and said, I told you, I won't let them cause trouble. Otherwise, I'll take care of them myself. Before Goku even finished speaking, Zeldris tried to attack him, but Goku dodged him and gave him a strong blow that would leave him unconscious. After that, Goku would leave the place. Goku appeared next to his friends, who were worried, and asked him what had happened. Goku just scratched his head, and with a smile said, <laughs> I just went to pay them a visit, but I guess it got a little out of hand. I see, but you were able to take them on? Meliodas said, very surprised. I think so, <laughs> although I only had a small battle with a guy they called Galland, who basically threw himself at me after I warned them, and I knocked him unconscious. Oh, and this other one with black-haired kid, similar to you, Meliodas, who I also knocked him unconscious and then I came back. Meliodas thought. He faced Galland and Zeldris and defeated them? This guy is really impressive. After this, they all decided to go in search of the rest of the deadly sins, as well as to go recover Meliodas' powers at his request. After Meliodas talked to Merlin about where he had to recover his powers, he and Elizabeth went to that place together with Gother, Hilton, and Hauser so they could train as well as the return of Meliodas' powers. On the other hand, Goku, Diane, and Merlin had prepared to go in search of the rest of the Deadly Sins. Uh, where are the rest of the Deadly Sins? Goku said. The last I heard from Bon and King is that they went to the Fairy Kingdom, and the Escanor had a small bar in a cave, so we better go where those two are. Okay. <laughs> hey, Goku, why are you so strong? Diane said. When I saw you fight the captain, I was really surprised that a human, who is not a sacred knight, could reach that strength. Goku, in his thoughts, said, These guys are good people, and I think it's about time they know a little bit more about me. <laughs> Well, the truth is that I'm not a human. I'm a Saiyan raised on Earth, 
and the reason for my strength is because I've trained all my life. What do you mean you're not human? Diane said. You look a lot like them. Yes, Goku, besides, what do you mean by raised on Earth? Where do you come from? Merlin said. <laughs> the truth, girls, is that my home planet was destroyed and I was sent to Earth when I was a baby. Merlin and Diane, who were next to Goku, were shocked by that revelation. Merlin, in her thoughts, said, This guy is very mysterious. I wonder what other surprises he has in store. Hey Goku, when you went to find the Ten Commandments, you used the type of teleportation, didn't you? Merlin said. That's right, but I can only use it if the place where I go, there are living beings. Goku mentioned. I see. I can also teleport, but my spell is more effective. Stay with me and you will see. Merlin said, and after a few seconds in the place, the three disappeared and appeared in the Fairy Kingdom. This woman's technique is like the Kaioshin's teleportation. Goku thought. Well, we have arrived. This is the fairy realm. Merlin said. It's, it's beautiful. beautiful. Said Goku and Diane, fascinated with the place. Hi guys, what are you doing here? By the way, who is that guy? Merlin explained everything that happened to King about the Ten Commandments and that Goku is now a cardinal sin. I see. <laughs> And you are here too, Diane, said a happy king to see his friend. By the way, king, where is Bon? I thought he was with you. Merlin said. He was, but he left a few days ago with Jericho to look for a way to revive Elaine. We have to go get him and Escanor, Merlin said. But before she continued speaking, they were interrupted by a great explosion of a demon that had appeared. This demon had attacked King by surprise, leaving him out of combat. Goku told his friends to stay behind, because this monster was very dangerous. That monster is Albion. It's a species created by the Demon Clan to be used as a weapon. It must have appeared after the Ten Commandments were released. Merlin commented. I see. Leave it to me. I'll finish it as soon as possible. I'll fight. Diane said. I want you to see that I'm strong too. Goku looked at her and felt a little nervous. Diane had thrown herself against the monster, throwing several rock attacks that when they hit Albion were useless. Diane saw this and decided to attack with her sacred treasure, but it was also in vain. Albion, who looked furious, attacked Diane with one of his long arms, leaving her very wounded. Albion was about to finish her off with a stomp, but was stopped by Goku, who released a great pressure of ki, sending the monster several meters away from Reino. You are an incredible girl. You're very strong, but for now, you've got to rest. Goku's words made Diane blush, even though she was very hurt. Goku lifted her up and took her to Merlin and the rest of the fairies. Please take care of her, Merlin, said Goku. Merlin nodded, and Goku went back to fight the monster. You're going to pay for this, Goku said angrily. He launched himself at a great speed, and with multiple physical attacks, he left the monster on the floor. After that, Goku rose in the air and charged a Kamehameha, which he threw at the monster, and thus eliminating it completely. After that, Goku returned to the place and saw Diane, who had already been cured by Merlin. King, who had awakened, realized the danger that the Fairy Kingdom was in, so he spoke to the fairies that they would accept him as king again, since he wanted to protect the kingdom with his life. The fairies hesitated, but in the end, they accepted him again because of his determination. Goku, who was now with Diane, said to her, I'm glad you're well. You're a very strong girl. Thank you, but most of all, thank you for saving me. Said a blushing Diane. Merlin analyzed the situation and thought that Diane had inadvertently started to feel strange when Goku talked to her. Maybe the fact that she had been saved was what triggered her love for Goku. Uh, hey Diane, why are you so red? Are you sick or something? Said Goku. 
Diane, who heard what Goku said, turned around in embarrassment, turning even redder. Merlin, in her mind, I see, he is a complete fool, but I'm not surprised that people, or women in this case, are attracted to him, as he gives off too much honest and pure attitude. After that, in another place, exactly in the bar of Escanor, was a dispute being generated. I am the one who is at the top of all races. I am one of the deadly sins, the sin of pride, symbol of the lion, Escanor. You are at the top of all the clans? Don't make me laugh! <laughs> you are nothing more than a bunch of pride in human form! Gallant laughed and then was cut in half by Escanor. That's the sin of pride. While Melascula looked shocked at the event while saying, He divided Gallant with a single attack. 3,000 years ago, there wasn't a human like that. Gallant, who started to recover from the attack at the same time, said, Don't think that the most powerful demons will be defeated by a single attack. Escanor looked at him with a mocking touch and said, I am aware of that. Otherwise, it wouldn't be fun. I see. It's my turn to attack. Gallant said, thus starting to release a great amount of power. I wanted to save this power to defeat that son Goku bastard who dared to defeat me. But I will have to use it to annihilate you. Gallant shouted and then received a kind of armor and increased his muscle mass as well as his power. Gallant prepared himself and attacked Escanor with a monstrous blow, generating a huge cloud of smoke. After a few seconds, and after the smoke dissipated, an unharmed Escanor was seen. Guys, I've already found Escanor. His power continues to grow. It's 55,000, 60,000 and counting. I felt it too. And I can see that he's an incredible guy. Let's go look for him. Goku said, and then everyone went to the place thanks to Merlin's teleportation, except for Goku who used his own. Everyone appeared in the place, leaving shocked Melascula and Galland, as well as Bon who was hiding in some rubble with Jericho and Elaine. Galland, we have to retreat now! Said a worried Melascula. Galland of Truth never retreats from a fight! Escanor, who saw this, said, I see, it's my turn to attack! Escanor released a monstrous amount of magical power that caused Galland to panic and run away. And just when I started to show him some of my true power, he fell under his curse. I see that even ancient demons fear death. Curse, Galland! Now I'm alone against the deadly sins! Melascula said. You are a commandment? You don't look very strong. You look more like a cute little girl. Melascula, furious, launched herself against Diane. But to her surprise, three of her seven hearts were ripped out of her chest due to Bond's fox hunting technique. Melascula agonized on the floor in pain while Merlin approached to later cast a spell that would leave her held in a capsule of magical power. Now you will be my lab rat, Merlin said. Escanor and Bond asked about the black-haired guy that accompanied the deadly sins to then receive the corresponding explanation. After that, everyone went to the Kingdom of Lions where Meliodas and Gother were waiting. Everyone except for Escanor, who would accompany them later because it was not long before noon and did not want to destroy the kingdom with his power. After these events, night had fallen in the Kingdom of Lions and all the deadly sins were finally gathered together. Hello, Escanor. We haven't seen you for a long time. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> uh, it's good to see you again said a fearful Escanor. Wow, are you really Escanor? I see your power and appearance have changed drastically, said a surprised Goku. That's right, by day he's the strongest man alive, but at night he turns into this weakling, Bon replied. Jericho, who was also on the spot, said surprised. Is he really the line of pride? Excuse me for having been born, said an Escanor lamenting. Well, for now, I need all of you to rest, since lately it has come to all the kingdoms, news of a tournament to be held in a certain place. But the interesting thing about this is, the winner of the tournament will be granted any wish, and Meliodas and I already have suspicions of who could be the hosts of such a competition. After Merlin's words, everyone nodded and headed off to rest. 
Vaughn went to get drunk at the boar's hat while he talked with Elaine and Jericho. The waiter was Gother, while the bartender, for obvious reasons, was Escanor. On the other hand, Merlin and Meliodas talked about the tournament. Outside the boar's hat was a very thoughtful king. I must become the king that I always should have been. Enough of being known as king of laziness. I must take charge of this mantle that was given to me and protect my kingdom. Because I was always a slacker was the reason that Elaine died. Since I could not take charge of the duties that were given to me. But no more. From now on, I will be the best king that ever existed. And for that, I must focus totally on it. I have no time for distractions. After all this is over, I will have to separate from the group forever. On the other hand... Mr. Goku, Mr. Meliodas asked me to get you a place to sleep, since the boar's hat didn't have enough space left, and I didn't want you to have to sleep on the floor, so I'll gladly take you to the hut. I see. <laughs> Thank you so much, Elizabeth. They were both heading towards the hut until they were interrupted by someone. Hi, Goku. The captain said you wouldn't be staying with us tonight, so I came to keep you company so you won't be alone. Said Diane while blushing. <laughs> Hi, Diane. Uh, I have no problem with you coming with me. Said Goku with his typical innocent smile. The three of them resumed their course to the hut again while talking. By the way, Diane, how did you shrink? Said a curious Goku. Ah, that's a potion that Merlin gave me to be able to travel calmly through the kingdom. Well, we've arrived, but there's a problem. Because I thought it was just going to be you, Goku. I only prepared a bed for you. I'm really sorry. You don't have to apologize. I have no problem sharing my bed. Thus causing Diane to become like a tomato. Hearing that, Elizabeth in her thoughts. I would have liked those two to be Mr. Meliodas and me. After that, both sins said goodbye to Elizabeth and went into the cabin. It's pretty small compared to my old house, but it's okay. I'll only be here for one night. Hey, Goku. Thanks. Thank you? Why? Thank you for accepting me when we met. What do you mean, Diane? Normally people reject me because I'm a giant, but when I met you, I noticed that you didn't care about that. You only saw it was inside me. Goku, who understood the situation, approached Diane and gave her a big hug while saying, Diane, of course I don't care if you're a giant or not. What matters to me, and what I see, is that you're an extremely strong and, and very brave woman. You decided to fight an opponent that was much stronger than you, and for that, I admire you. These words made Diane blush and shed some tears. Thank you, Goku. After that, they both went to sleep. The bed was small, so Diane had to sleep on top of Goku. It was a little limited on space, but Diane was very happy, since she could feel all the warmth that the Saiyan gave off. The next day, a starving Goku tells Diane that he wants to go get something to eat at the boar's hat. She accepts, and they both go in search of breakfast. Goku and Diane had arrived. As they entered, they saw Bon still lying on the floor next to some beers, while Elaine and Jericho were arguing over something. Poor Hawk was cleaning up debris. Hey guys, I'm starving. Don't you have something to eat? After hearing those words, a very determined Meliodas entered the scene. Of course, Goku. You have come to the right place. And since you love my food, I'll give you a feast that you cannot imagine. After they served the great banquet to Goku, everyone in the place was very surprised at the amount of food he could eat. That's nothing. I can eat much more. Meliodas, serve me twice as much as you gave Goku. Meliodas accepted and quickly prepared the banquet that Escanor had asked for. But the moment Escanor took the first bite to his mouth, he began to vomit, leaving almost everyone disgusted by the event. <sighs> that was delicious, but I've eaten too much. Right now, I need to wash this meal down with some training. Escanor, recovering from vomiting, raised his voice. I can help you with that, Goku. 
I see that you were able to defeat me in this eating competition, but I don't think you'll be able to do it in combat. <laughs> sure, let's have a friendly match. I know you're very strong, and I would like to fight you. Merlin, who had heard this, decided to help them, thus creating a perfect cube on the outskirts of the kingdom so that Escanor and Goku could fight in peace. Lately, I have been receiving comments that you are very powerful, Goku. But to your surprise, I will prove to you that I am more so. After that, Goku in base state shot towards Escanor, hitting him with a punch, which would make Escanor move just a few meters. I see. This guy is strong. He was able to resist my attack. Eh, I was holding back. That's all you got. I see that it was nothing but words. Goku, determined to show him more of his power, rushed against Escanor, hitting him with a combination of blows that would make Escanor jump and bounce off the perfect cube, and then receive a strong kick from Goku that would make him fall back to his knees. I see that you're a very strong guy, but you still need to train a lot. And as far as I can see, this battle is already over. It's almost noon. This is going to get interesting. What? Escanor needs to train a lot more? Who decided this? This battle is over. Who decided? I am the only one who decides. Goku had totally changed his expression while thinking. This guy is impressive. From one second to the next, he had a monstrous increase of power. I'll have to be careful or I could get really hurt. Be careful. Escanor is in his ultimate form known as the One. In this form, he is the embodiment of invincible power, which overcomes all barriers. Let's see how this encounter will end. Everyone in the place was afraid that Goku would be killed after hearing Merlin's words, especially Diane, who didn't want Goku to get hurt, but understood that this was what he wanted. Goku, who was excited and his blood was boiling with emotion, threw himself against Escanor, throwing a punch that was stopped by Escanor's hand before he threw Goku against the wall. Huh, it's similar to Frieza's 100% form, but this one is much weaker. Although, if I waited a while, I guess he'll wear out and lose his energy. But if I do that, it wouldn't be a real battle. I'll have to defeat him at his maximum power. Goku began to release a large amount of ki, generating the astonishment of all present. After that, with a great speed, he transported behind Escanor, hitting him with a strong kick that would push him forward, to later teleport multiple times, leaving Escanor unconcentrated since he could not see Goku and was receiving a brutal beating. Every time Escanor tried to counterattack, he was hit by dozens of blows from Goku. After Goku continued attacking, he repeated in a low voice, Ka -me -ha -me! to then appear in front of Escanor. Ha The whole cube was filled with dust, and Merlin undid the spell to see a defeated and very wounded Escanor. He was unconscious and was taken by Goku to Merlin to be healed. I really didn't know how this battle would turn out, since Escanor had never faced someone as strong as you before. Merlin added with a flirtatious smile. I would like to discuss a matter with you, Goku, and if possible, alone. These words made Diane a little uncomfortable. Uh, okay. I see that my magic won't be able to heal Escanor that fast. Using his unique form wears him out too much. He'll have to rest for a couple of hours. After that, everyone went to the boar's hat, while Goku went with Merlin at Merlin's request. Goku, who had gone to talk to Merlin, was a little curious about what she wanted. When he arrived at the meeting point, Goku found Merlin was managing some experiments. Hey Merlin, uh, what did you need from me? So, what I need from you, Goku, is for you to give me some of your blood. I need it urgently for a groundbreaking experiment. Ah, uh, I'm really sorry, Merlin, but I'm really afraid of needles. <laughs> there will have to be another way I can help you. Who would have thought that the strongest sin of all is afraid of needles? <laughs> well, I guess there is another way you could help me. All right, what do I have to do? First, you have to release some of your power. 
Goku nodded, releasing a little bit of ki, and after that Merlin, with a kind of urn, began to drain the layer of ki that covered Goku, until it disappeared. Uh, what did you just do? I drained a great part of your power, although it was only going to work if you allowed me to. You see, I will use this power in one of my experiments, in one that will surprise everyone. Well, Goku, you better rest because in a little while, we will be on our way to the tournament. Goku could not help but think about the words that Merlin had said, especially about the tournament, which according to the hosts would grant a wish to the winner. Goku could not help but remember the tournament of power in which he lost all his friends and family. He thought that maybe, with this wish, he could revive them all. After all, he still missed them so. Meanwhile, in another place, in a very demonic place, there were six of the commandments. We have to do something. Moleskala and Galand have been defeated, and Gloxinia together with Troll are doing who knows what. Don't worry, Frodrin. I've been thinking, and I already have a plan to be able to finish with that damned Goku and take revenge on Meliodas. The Demon King has given us a great increase of powers, but that is only part of my plan. For the moment, I need you, Frodrin, to go where Gloxinia and Droll are as soon as possible. It's not good that we are so alone. You see what happened to these two idiots of Galand and Meliskala. Frodrin nodded and went to where Gloxinia and Droll were while they were making preparations for their great tournament. Droll, with his great power over the earth, created a great labyrinth which had many traps and vicious dangers. Do you think they will come? I am more than sure. Meanwhile, with the sins... Well, are we ready to leave? Yes, Captain! And so, all the Sins and friends headed for the tournament. Miss Meliodas, aren't you afraid of what's going to happen? Don't worry, Elizabeth. Everything will be fine. After all, we, the Capital Sins, are the strongest warriors. Yes, sir, Meliodas. Escanor is still asleep. If we arrive at nightfall, he won't do us any good. Don't say those things! Elaine reproached her beloved. Everyone started to laugh until Hawk interrupted them. Hey, where are Goku and Diane? I saw them in one of the dorms. Shut up, Gother. You have to stop being such a snitch. I just told the truth. I will never fully understand human thinking. Actually, I feel good for Diane. It's good that she was able to find love. Otherwise, she would have suffered a lot. I could not have given her what she needed. After all, my only goal is to protect the fairy kingdom. And for that, I must end the threat of the Ten Commandments once and for all. Hey, Goku. I'd like to know a little more about you. I don't know. Know things like your favorite color, favorite dishes, among other things. Well, uh, I've never really thought about what things I like the most. <laughs> but uh, now that you mention it, I think my favorite color is orange since I always use it in my outfits. And my favorite dish would have to be roasted salamander. That was what I ate at home. While Goku was talking, Diane came closer, and with much modesty, she stole a kiss from Goku. He was surprised, and at the same time, very confused. But he remembered the times that Chi-Chi did the same to him, so he reciprocated the kiss, leaving the two in a scene that Diane would never forget. Suddenly, someone had knocked on the door. It was just Elizabeth warning those present that they had already arrived to the place. Both went down and went out to sea, along with everyone else, and indeed it was true. Everyone looked surprised, since the place was absolutely terrifying. I see. So this is one of the tests. Yes, I see they have built a huge labyrinth to make a filter of participants. Those who are able to get through it will be worthy of being able to enter the tournament. Uh, hey Merlin, there's not going to be a way to cross this maze while Elizabeth is with us. It's very dangerous to cross this maze. Elizabeth was annoyed since she was being underestimated, but at the same time, she was happy since Meliodas cared about her. You don't need to worry. We're all here. Nothing's gonna happen to her. In fact, there is a way. Everyone, come closer. Everyone obeyed, and then Merlin used her teleportation. Welcome, participants. You have been able to arrive, although in a very particular way. Just this once, I will not consider it a trap. Seconds later, other participants began to arrive, and Gloxinia welcomed them in the same way. Well, I think it's time to start this tournament. 
But it's also time to get rid of the garbage. Everyone was surprised by his words, and then they were shocked by what had happened. Goku began to notice that inside the labyrinth, the key of all the people began to disappear quickly, until there was nothing left. What? You're a bastard! They had nothing to do with this! They were just a hindrance. Now the real show will begin! Now the real show will begin. Please droll, prepare the platforms. Diane and a Madrona who had also arrived at the place realized the name of Droll and questioned if it was the one they thought. After Droll made a peculiar hand movement, all the participants were raised on circular platforms leaving everyone in a two against two. According to Droll, the teams were made according to what Destiny wanted. The teams were formed by Goku and Hawk the Pig against Meliodas and Ban. In another team was King and Galther versus Diane and Escanor. Merlin was together with Hilton versus some demons, and finally Elizabeth together with Elaine versus some hooded bandits. Those were the most relevant teams. Meliodas, who saw Elizabeth on the platform, reproached Gloxinia that she had nothing to do with this. But Gloxinia affirmed that once in the labyrinth, you are already a participant. Meliodas accepted without any other choice. After that, Gloxinia would start the team tournament. I see that we have to fight, Meliodas said with a smile. Yes, ha ha ha, give it all you've got. This will be a real battle, Goku would affirm. Good thing we're team captain and Goku got to fight with the captain of the leftovers. I think we already won, Ban said while looking at the pig. Hawk scolded Van for his cruel words and everyone started to laugh. Well, Goku, it's time to fight. And so Meliodo jumped into the fight with Ban trying to hit Goku, where all were dodged with great ease by the Saiyajin. Goku had given them both a beating, making them back down to almost throw them off the platform. Ban, who was planning something, uses his physical hunting technique, which is to release a powerful counterattack with the physical damage he received. He uses his technique and hitting Goku, leaving him surprised. Wow, you surprised me. I didn't expect you to have a technique like that, Goku said. And that's nothing, Ban said with a playful smile. But let's see what you do with this. Goku launched a powerful key attack at Ban, which was quickly intervened by Meliodas. He shouted, full counter, and the attack came back at Goku, leaving him with quite a few scratches. Seriously, you guys are amazing. That technique is great. It can return any attack, Goku said. Only magic and energy attacks, Meliodas answered. Captain, why are you telling him how your attacks work? Said a ban, lamenting the idiocy of his captain. Ha ha ha, I forgot he's our opponent. I won't do it anymore. Well, Captain, I see it's my turn, Ban said, and then shouted, Hunter's Feast! What's happening to me? I feel pretty weak. I feel like my strength is decreased by half. Now, that calculation is impressive. Ban's power is over 250,000. This strongly surprised Meliodas and others who could hear. Wow, this power is monstrous. I don't think I can control it for long. You also have my strength, Ban, and also Hawks, said a weak Meliodas. Well, Captain, get ready. After that, Ban launched himself at Goku and gave him a strong beating that would leave a slightly hurt Goku on the floor. Take that, Goku, ha ha ha. And to think you're the strongest sin, and now you're on the floor, said Ban with a smirk. I don't know if I consider myself the strongest sin, but what I do know is that you won't be able to defeat me with that. After that, Goku stood up from the floor and with a big shout he said, Kaioken! And wrapped himself in a red aura, surprising everyone present who stopped their battles to see Goku. What is that? Well, never mind, now we'll see, Gloxinia said. Goku began to increase his power with the Kaioken as he said, Haha, you want my power ban? Then I'll give it to you to increase your power even more. Generating astonishment in Ban and Meliodas. Damn, it's too much power. I won't be able to take it, said a desperate Ban. Ha ha ha, sorry Ban, but I can't let myself be defeated so easily. After this, Ban, without any other choice, exploded into a thousand pieces, leaving everyone surprised, especially the two commandments who believed that Goku had killed his partner. 
After a few seconds, Ban had regenerated, leaving a Goku with a smile. Sorry, Ban. Haha. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, it's just that I wouldn't have done it if I didn't know you were immortal. Of course you wouldn't. You're insane, but it was still a good battle. I'm exhausted. It's all up to you, Captain. <laughs> said Ban as he sat down on the floor. Melio just stared at Goku while both began to fight. On the other hand, King thought it was a good opportunity to leave his past behind, to then attack Diane with the sacred treasure, where she would defend herself with her sacred treasure in the same way. Meanwhile, Gauther was mentally torturing Scanor as in the original story, generating that this due to having seen Merlin in his mind, and having her as his son, transformed into the Scanner by day. Who would have thought that my technique would have the opposite effect, said Gauther. Diane and King stopped their battle to look at Escanor in surprise. How is it possible for Escanor to be in that form at night, said King. I don't know, Diane answered, and then listened to Gauther's explanation and left them satisfied, but still surprised. You are still far from reaching your true power, and you won't be able to bear it for long, Gauther said. It will be more than enough, Escanor answered, and then in a quick movement, took off Gauther's glasses, causing him to get upset and use his machine gun technique. Escanor dodged it by raising in the air and then said, Obey my will, Divine Axe Rita. The axe flew towards Escanor's hand, and then he said, Sacred treasure rebelled, causing the whole area to turn into a great light, as if it was daytime. What is this? Its magical power is equivalent to the power of Esterasa. Goku, said Meliodas while looking at him. Goku understood and remembered why Meliodas told him how his technique worked. He had a plan, thought this. Goku, who understood what Meliodas wanted, quickly charged a powerful Kamehameha that he would throw against Meliodas, while with Escanor. The sin of playing with the heart of others will be atoned with your skin, shouted an annoyed Escanor. He accepted the challenge, said Gauther, and then charged his magical attack. Double Hurley Bow Automatic Tracking Mode To then throw it to Escanor. Escanor seeing this launched his attack while a few seconds before with Goku and Meliodas. Ha! Goku said while throwing his attack to Meliodas who was in the air. Full counter! Meliodas shouted and then launched his attack in the direction of Gloxinia and Droll, just as Escanor did. Both attacks collided in the two commandments and then generated a huge explosion. After the smoke dissipated, we could see Gloxinia on the verge of death. On the other hand, Droll could not resist the attack and died. What have you done? said an annoyed Diane to Gauther. I just stated the facts. I won and he lost. Gauther, you will never understand how Escanor felt. Just look over there. Gauther went to look and was shocked to see the two commandments pulverized on the floor from such an attack. I see that attack has finished off one of them, said a Goku who couldn't feel his energy. I see, Meliodas said as he approached the dying Gloxinia. Goodbye, my friend. Meliodas was about to kill Gloxinia until he was stopped by Frauden, who threw an attack at him, causing Meliodas to dodge it. Hello again, Meliodas, Frauden said with a small smile. A Gloxinia that could barely speak said in whispers, Spirit Spear, Form 7, Drop of Life, to then be completely healed by his technique. That was close, I was saying. I saved myself, but unfortunately Droll was not as lucky. Due to his size, he received most of the impact, he thought. Hello, Frauden. Thanks for saving me, but what are you doing here? Gloxinia asked. Zeldra sent me. He sent me to protect you, Frauden said with a confident tone. Don't tell me. I'm glad you saved me, but don't forget that you are the weakest of the Ten Commandments, with the power of 31,000. That was before. The Demon King has given us an increase in power, but I see that you didn't receive it since you were not present at the time of the distribution. What do you mean? Gloxinia asked, already a little confused. As you heard, I am now superior to you, Gloxinia. My current power is 60,000, and it is better that you obey. If we want to get out of this, we have to be united. Gloxinia was still shocked by the fact that the weakest of the Ten Commandments will surpass him, but he was still willing to obey him to survive. Meliodas, who listened to this with amazement, thought, Really, the Demon King gave him all that power? 
That's impossible. At least that... Yes, that must be. The Demon King must have noticed Goku's presence in this world, and that's why he decided to give up a great amount of powers to the Ten Commandments. I just got my powers back, but even if they activate my demonic mark, I would only reach 56,000. I'm still inferior to Frauden. What a powerlessness. Even if we have Goku, I can't let him take care of everything. I'm the captain, and I must take care of this threat. So what are you going to do? said a Frauden who fixed his gaze on Meliodas. We will finish you here, Frauden, Meliodas said. This one activated his demonic mark and then launched himself against the two commandments. Meliodas hit Gloxinia with a great blow, but he was killed almost instantly by a strong attack of Frauden. If the fight goes on like this, Meliodas will be defeated, said a Goku who was analyzing the situation. Ban, who was together with the other Sins and Goku, said, Then let's help him. Don't you see? We have the numerical advantage, Ban affirmed. That's true, but even though we are more than them, our power is much inferior. We would only be in the way in the fights. The only one who could help us is Goku. Ban, who was determined to help his captain and friend, is stopped when he sees Elizabeth walking towards Goku. Mr. Goku, you are the only one able to help Mr. Meliodas. Please help him. Goku watched as the latter was on the verge of tears, accepted, and jumped into the battlefield. Meliodas, who was taking a beating from the combined attacks of the commandments, is helped by Goku, leaving the battle in a 2 versus 2. Meliodas, who looked at Goku, felt a little annoyed of his help, but in the end accepted it. So you are the new Cardinal Sin, Frauden said. That's right, I'm Son Goku, symbol of the monkey, sin of guilt. Haha, <laughs> that's a joke, right? What a pathetic sin. Frauden, confident of his power, launches himself against Goku, but to his surprise, his attack is stopped by Goku's hand. It's impossible! The Demon King gave me increased powers! You can't defeat me! I had already told you, if you were to cause trouble again, I wouldn't hesitate to eliminate you. After this, Goku hit Frauden in the stomach with a strong punch that would make him vote blood. After that, Goku charged his hand with a key sphere, ready to finish Frauden, until he was stopped by Meliodas. Wait, Goku! Don't kill him! He has taken the body of one of the great sacred knights! If you kill Frauden, you kill Dreyfus! I see. It's similar to Captain Ginyu's technique, but this one has clear differences, Goku thought. So, Meliodas, how do we free that Dreyfus guy from that demon? Goku asked. I really don't know, although there is a technique called Purge, which is used by druids to purify any soul of demonic presences. But unfortunately, I am not able to use it, Meliodas said. I see. Then we'll have to hold him until we find a way to free Dreyfus. That's a good idea, Meliodas said. Both sins were ready to capture Frauden and finish off Gloxinia, until some beings had arrived on the scene. Damn, I sensed they were on their way, but I didn't think they would arrive so fast. So here they were. We sensed their battle and came immediately. I see they finished Droll, but it doesn't matter. From now on, they won't be able to take us. Goku looked at the demons in surprise and thought, It's incredible. I feel a great increase of power in them. Did they train? I don't think so. It must have been something else. Receive this. This is the increase in power that the Demon King gave us. If you and Droll had been there when we were given this power, Droll would probably be alive, Zeldris said. After that, a great mass of darkness came out of Zeldris and then went to Gloxinia. I feel incredible. My power is approximately double, he said. The Sins that were watching the fight looked astonished because now the fight was seven against two. What now? We have to go help them, Ban said with a desperate tone. Be patient. Hey, Hawk, tell me the power of all of them. Yes, the power of them is... The vast majority of them exceed 100,000, with the exception of the man they call Frauden and the Purple Mass with many. I see. This has gotten pretty complicated. In total, their powers add up to almost 700,000. I don't know if Goku will be able to handle them all. Damn it! My powers are still sealed, and I can't even transform into Super Saiyan! Maybe I haven't trained enough. At least I can use the Kaioken, but it will cause me great physical wear. 
I see it was a mistake to use it against Ban, but I'll have to risk it. Meliodas, you better get back to the others. From now on, I'll take care of this. I can't allow it. I know you're strong, but their combined powers surpass yours. I know, but I can't risk you in this fight. I'm your captain, Goku, and I'll fight you, no matter if you don't want to. Goku looked at his determination, and in the end, ended up giving to his captain's orders. Meanwhile, with the sins. We better go back to the kingdom. We're not safe here. There we can see the battle from my crystal ball, Merlin said. Everyone reluctantly accepted and went to the kingdom. On the other hand, Goku and Meliodas were fighting against the commandments. Goku seemed to have the advantage by beating each one of them, but they were coordinating their attacks more and more, making it more and more difficult for Goku to dodge them. Binding chains of resentment! Grey Road shouted, so that then Meliodas and Goku would appear purple chains that would become invisible. After this, Grey Road shouted again, saying loss of five, to then generate the bewilderment of Goku. What's going on? I can't see or feel anything. I think his technique is making me lose my five senses, he thought. After this, Derriere launched himself against Goku using his Compass Start technique, which generates that Derriere's attack strength increases as long as he hits with precision, and he hit every hit perfectly, generating an extra bonus to his strength. This caused Goku concerns, since he could not do anything to defend himself. Meanwhile, Estorasa was giving him a beating while he said, Oh brother, why did you have to betray us? After that, Estorasa stabs him, an infinity of swords in his hearts, leaving him with only two. Ban, who was watching this from the crystal's fear, was determined to go help his friend, so he asked Merlin to take him, but she refused, saying that she could not do anything. Let me help, I have a plan, trust me please, Ban said in desperation. Merlin looked at this distrustful and accepted, thus sending Ban to the battlefield. Goku, who was hurt without being able to do anything, imagined that something bad was happening to Meliodas, but unfortunately, he couldn't help him. Ha ha ha, you're the strongest sin? With my technique, you're nothing, he added. Grey Road was about to say something until six of his seven hearts were ripped out, causing him not to be able to keep his technique loss of five. It had been banned. He used his zero signal technique so he could be undetectable to the commandments, to then use his other ability, box hunting, to rip Grey Road's hearts out. Goku had regained his senses thanks to Grey Road and went in search of Meliodas, but it was too late. Meliodas had died. Goku looked at Meliodas on the floor with several swords stuck in his chest. Goku was in shock. They had killed his friend and captain. I see that you were his friend. He was my brother and I loved him. Estorasa said. If your brother, why did you kill him? Said an enraged Goku. Kaioken! Goku shouted to increase his strength by having a total of one million. Goku was about to attack Estorasa, but suddenly lost all his power. Ha ha ha! I see you have been affected by my commandment. Anyone who harbors hatred inside will be unable to harm others. A helpless Goku, because of the situation, regretted not going all out from the beginning and told Ban to escape, that he would try to give him some time. Ban refused to abandon another one of his friends and told him they would get out of this. Goku was quickly thinking of what to do because the commandments were getting closer and closer. Goku watched until something came to his mind. Ban, cover your eyes, Goku said. Ban, who didn't understand, agreed, and Goku shouted, Kaioken! generating that the Ten Commandments will be blinded. Merlin, who saw this from his crystal ball, quickly took the opportunity to teleport to the place and bring back Ban and Goku. The flash of light had disappeared and the Commandments saw that they had escaped. Damn, but at least we were able to take revenge on Meliodas. Now we just need to finish with that damn son Goku and dominate all of Britannia. After the death of Meliodas, they had all separated in order to protect what they loved so much. King went to protect the Fairy Kingdom, while Ban for the moment wanted to take advantage of all the time he had with Elaine and stayed with her in the Lion Kingdom. On the other hand, Galther was with Merlin since he needed her to manage his actions. Goku, on the other hand, had decided to train Diane and Escanor. Goku thought it would be best to train them so they could protect the world. Escanor accepted because if he became stronger, maybe he could impress Merlin and Diane, 
on the other hand, only accepted to spend more time with Goku. Good! Since Escanor gets his power during the day, I will train him at night. If he is able to become stronger in his weaker form or at night during the day, he will become an extremely powerful guy. On the other hand, Diane has a lot of potential. If he trained her, she will surely be very helpful, Goku said. And so it was training them with very hard exercises, just as Master Rashi did with him when he was a child. Both sins had to carry certain weight on their back and travel certain distances. Different distances since Diane could travel with them in less time due to her size, while Elizabeth continued to maintain the legacy of Meliodas and the boar hat. She kept the bar active and received everyone who wanted to pass. There were demons stalking all the kingdoms of Britain, especially the kingdom of Camelot, had demons attacking every day. Although they were eliminated with difficulty by King Arthur and his army of knights. On the other hand, in the Kingdom of Lions came many more hordes of demons, but these were held with equal difficulty by the Knight's Sacrum. Goku was aware of the invasion of Britannia, but he considered that it would be best to prepare before initiating an attack. Goku helped everyone when he was not training. He used his teleportation to help in some villages and eliminate the demons. A few weeks had passed since the training, and apparently it paid off. Diana had increased her physical and psychological capabilities and now had a power of 35,000, while Escanor had obtained a great physical being at night, resembling a little to his day version. He had a power of approximately 20,000 being at night. Haha, <laughs> the truth with this month of training, they have reached a great level of power. Although they have done everything themselves, their potential is very great and I only applied what my teachers taught me. I think it's time to teach them the basics of Ki so they can at least handle them," Goku said in his head. Good guys, Goku said. Today I will teach you something new that will be very useful when it comes to combat. Something new? Diane asked. What do you mean? asked Escanor, who due to his new physique had become more confident when speaking. Well, its name is Ki, and this is the inner energy of a living being, and anyone can master Ki, in a better or lesser way. Usually, the more energy is concentrated, the more time the user will require to materialize it. When a fighter increases his key, he is able to obtain greater strength, speed, endurance, and is able to increase the power of his attacks to cause greater damage to his opponents. The two sins were impressed by such information. They did not know that and felt fortunate to be able to learn it. Well, the first thing you must do is to calm down and concentrate, and little by little you will be able to release the power that is within you. After this, in Goku's hand, a ball could be seen here. Those present were amazed to be able to learn skills that Goku possessed, and so they trained for another few weeks while Goku taught them different concepts and strategies to better master the key, until they finally controlled the key perfectly. Diana had managed to increase her power much more, being approximately 75,000 and in maximum power of 96,000, just as she got the ability to integrate a layer of key in her second treasure, Gideon. Escanor instead increased his power at night to 61,000 and acquired the ability to launch large amounts of key, which would then combine them with his grace. Escanor trained at night with Goku, but during the day and with the knowledge learned, tried to combine their skills to create a new one. Haha, <laughs> I have already created several super attacks. This one is the most recent, Escanor Divine Sword. With this power, no one will ever be able to defeat me. On the other hand, I'm done. The energy that Goku granted me was very interesting. I had not seen anything like this, but there is something that still makes me curious. From the energy obtained, I can notice that this was part of something bigger, as if this was not all of Goku's power. And it's weird because this energy obtained I got by draining all of Goku's power. I will ask him when he comes back. But anyway, with this energy, I have made a potion that will serve to increase the power of the user who consumes it. If you take half of the potion, your power will increase up to double your total. However, if you take all the potion, your power will grow to reach a quadruple of the initial. Haha, <laughs> I really am a genius. With this advantage, we have already won the war. Meliskula, who was still in a container in Merlin's experiment room, had heard this and sent a message to Zeldris through his commandment while in another place. Soon my plan will be complete. I already have Gollum's commandment, and I only have to assimilate the rest to be able to become the next Demon King and be able to conquer all of Britannia. We split up to be able to conquer Britannia quickly, but this, but it is time to reunite, Zeldris thought. 
I already sent a message to Monspeed and Derriere, but they don't answer my messages, and I need them to come. Wait, I got a message, Seltris wondered. I hope it's from those two useless people. No, it's from Meliskula. How interesting, she's still alive. Zeldris, after seeing what the message said, said, What interesting information you just gave me. A potion of that caliber is something unreal, but it would be very useful in our hands. I just have to think of a way to get it. On the other hand, a blonde-haired boy who was lying on one of the beds of the boar's hat had woken up. He went down the stairs until he saw Elizabeth, who was attending the customers with a big smile. After serving the customers, she turned around and, to her surprise, there was the love of her life. Mr. Meliotis? Is it really you? Elizabeth asked. Haha, <laughs> of course I am, said Meliotis with a big smile. Elizabeth ran to hug him with great happiness and tears falling from her eyes, while she told him, I knew you would come back, you promised me. Of course, and I don't plan to break that promise. They both kept hugging while Elizabeth was still crying with happiness.